Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays. Sorry, my voice sounds a little bit croaky. My cold from last week is continuing to be the gift that keeps on giving because I'm asthmatic. Yay! This is Generation 5 or Season 5, Part 24 of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. It is Harvest Fest. The older two kids are at school because my sims in this save file go to school on all holiday events because why would I not? Now... I'm just having Georgia make a grand meal because one of our toddlers, this one, little Angelo, because he is a charmer, wants to have a grand meal. And I think he's the only one in the house. I mean, she does, but she also can't eat it without being sick. So I'm not super here for that, but I figured I'd make the grand meal. I can pop it in here and then he can eat it and he'll be fine. These two are asleep, almost ready to get out of bed, which is awesome. And... Excitingly, little Zia, just as we're speaking, got to threes in everything. So I'm going to have her toddle up here. She's feeling hurt because her mum dared to potty train her. How dare. The reason the mood letters appeared is because her mum was potty training her. I think it was because she tried to bath her originally. I can't remember. We've had so many toddlers who've ended up with resentment against Georgia since the sentiments system came in that it's not surprising honestly all right come on little one you can do it we just gotta wait for your mum to finish the grand meal first she's feeling sad the sad is about to go away then she's gonna be feeling sad again because i'm about to touch her okay let's get out our little zombie cake and we're gonna age up little zia corby to a child so let's help zia blow out the candles Yes, happy birthday. Oh, he's smelling my food. It's weird. Okay. Ah, oh, look, we've got a roast chicken now. <laughs> oh, she's good. There you go. I was actually just about to move that. I will have a look at her in a sec, I swear. Did it work? It did. I'm sure that maid's going to ruin it all for me, but we'll put it there for now. Stop, see her, stop. Oh, she's sad. It's like, my mama spoke to me. So rude. I guess we will might as well give her a quick makeover now. We're not really sort of waiting for anything else. You don't need to cry. See, look, her mum touched her and now she's hurt again. She still made me have a bath one time. It's so rude. All right, you guys, here's little Zia all made over. I gave her some super extra hair because I figured she's clearly a super extra child given she spent the entirety of being a toddler being a little bit mad. Anyway, so, I don't know, I just like this hair. That's the main reason, I'm not going to lie. I think it's cute. Basically, I have been downloading a heap of CC for children and toddlers recently, for boys and girls, for different reasons, and I want to use it all, so I have. This is some news. You see, I just got yesterday this shirt. I think it's by a creator called Little Things on The Sims Resource. There's a few pieces in here by them. But that's her every day. I'll just quickly flick through. That's obviously formal. We have athletic wear. And that's a cute little pajamas. We've got a uh, unicorn shirt for her party wear. I love this kid. That's another little thing, CC, pair of swimmers, I'm pretty sure, as I think this dress might be as well, but don't quote me on that one, I'm not 100% sure about that. And then there's this little outfit. How cute is she? The maid and I are having a war, where they keep putting all the food here away, and I keep getting it out again. But Angelo's had his grand meal now, so I guess we can leave it in the fridge until the maid is gone. <laughs> all right, the kids have just came ho come home. Jimena is an A and Yolanda is an A. That's awesome. And you've just acquired the thinking skill, you little cutie. All right, how is she going? Why don't I have her do some babbling? All right, there goes the maid. That's good. Means I can get food out of the fridge. It's funny because he never tried to move the fish. Only the, only the turkey. I don't understand. We're just potty training little Angelo hopefully. <laughs> and then I guess in the meantime, oh, that's right. You're sad because somebody died. Mm, okay. All right. Well, why don't we age these two up to teens and then no, no. Whoa. 
That was an exciting explosion. Stop. Stop. Oh, don't do that. That was very disturbing. Put that down. Clean that up. Don't want you cooking. It's funny, I actually uninstalled the cooking package from my Talented Kids mod. Doesn't seem to have stopped them, though. <laughs> so they're still doing it. Let's give this gnome a toy. I feel like they would like a toy. And you can come and... I always forget what he likes. I think I always try and give him coffee and then he doesn't approve. A pie, maybe? Hello. If you didn't know, the gnomes actually have preferences. The easiest one's the alien feature cube. That's easy. The naked gnome likes pie. I know this. I always associate it with the American Pie movie. Um, stop it! Humana, stop it! How many times do I have to tell you? Seriously, you're going to burn my kitchen down. Also, you're stirring the oven front. The Talented Kids mod does what it can, but obviously there's no animation for kids cooking. Uh, you no, Stop getting food. Oh, my God. The sooner they fix this glitch, not only do they cook constantly, but then they um, don't eat what they've cooked. Well, like she's teleported over here. Okay. Uh, she is. She loves the outdoors and is an art lover. Ah. A random number between 1 and 12 is 6. Ooh. A random number between 1 and 2 is 2. Right. She wants to be a master mixologist. That's exciting. Can I get you to add candles to that? And then we will age up your sister. All right. Now, you are, are you a vamp? You are a vamp. See, all that trying to eat was a waste of time anyway. Now, you. Ugh. Great. She's a slob. I forgot. Okay, come over here. Your sister's, sister's moving out of the way, so you should be able to blow out the candles. Georgia, what are you... No, stop! Yolanda! Oh, you're going around that way. I, I apologise. You don't have to stop. Then we'll give both girls makeovers. Where, oh, you've come to watch... Oh no, she's dark meditating in here. That's weird. I don't know why she wouldn't do it in there. Alright, happy birthday, cutie! I think she's one of the prettiest kids we've ever had. I'm just putting it out there. A baker and a slob. I mean, it's better to keep a tidy workshop, but I guess, you know, a little bit OH&S concern in that combination, but that's fine. A random number between 1 and 12 is 6. Again? It's so weird when this happens. A random number between 1 and 2 is 2. I, oh my god, that is so weird. They really are twins. <laughs> Alright, come here. Add candles. Oh, gnomes. Everywhere. And she's also a vampire, which is great. So I'll get her to dark meditate as well. And then I guess we'll give them both makeovers. I know I haven't had a good look at them yet. I'm thinking I might just do it in cast. Let's have a quick, okay, we'll have a quick look at how they are right now. Obviously she's very sad. Oh, she's aged up with freckles. I think we'll keep those. That's very cute. I know it's not super consistent with before, but that's all right. And she has not aged up with freckles. But she has aged up with eyelashes, so, you know, that's fine. All right, you guys, so here is little Jimena. I think she's beautiful. I did for both twins. They've aged up quite similarly. Different, like, some very similar but not quite identical twins. So I did help them with their chin problem. Both of them had missing chins. Both of them also had huge eyebrows. So sounds like there's a helicopter flying over my house. That's nice. Sorry if that's really loud. Look how pretty she is. I love her so much. She did age up with freckles, so I kept them, like I said. So yeah, I just, I gave them an eyebrow wax. I also just nudged the chin down slightly because there was a thing happening. Anywho, this is Jimena. She loves the outdoors and is an art lover. I'm imagining these are trendy ripped kind of cut off pants because she's the child of a rich sim and into art. But, you know, they both aged up with their sliders in more or less the same position. Very, very buff, very curvy ladies. Well, young ladies, I suppose. They're probably like 14 at the moment, not that you can tell, but I've I've decided to embrace that. I figure they are both powerful young women who I was about to say will eat their enemies alive. They're vampires, they could, I'm just saying. Obviously I've gone for a bit of an orangey kind of earth tones theme for Jimena. I think she's just so breathtaking. I, there's a few, some seems you're kind of like, mm. <laughs> she's done very well for herself. 
I do feel like I've had a lot cuter Sims more recently, but I wonder how much of that is because I have skin details now, you know? Anyway, we have Yolanda. Who, are you done, sweetie? She's such a cute little pixie face. Again, I did just drag that chin down and I'd have tweaked the eyebrows. But I've kept, she was the, she had the huge piggy tails. So I've gone with like this hair because it kind of still gives me that piggy tail vibe, which I love. And she, because she's a slob and freeing, I've gone for like less dressy clothes than her sister. I figure I'm not a freak in a maker. So she's like into crafting stuff. She actually, I will say she aged up with this jumpsuit on. I just changed the color of the shirt. I said jumpsuit. Uh, what's the word? Uh, overalls. She aged up with these overalls on, but yeah, like I said, I just changed the color. So we've got this. I went with kind of greens for her, but I think for the most part, her clothes are not as put together as that. You know, she's a slob. So like rumpled clothes, I put her in, not that she'll sleep much because she's a vamp, but I put her in like just a big sack kind of thing. So this is her party wear. She's got cute little, this little short skirt thing. What do they call them? Skorts? Because it's shorts and a skirt. Shorts at the back, skirt at the front. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, but look at this little avocado shirt. How cute is that? I saw it. And I was like, she has to wear that. So that is her swimwear. See what I mean? Six pack. Both girls got a six pack. And that is paranormal stuff with some CC shoes. And finally, we have a nice little combo CC and non-CC pants kind of outfit. So there you go. That's the twins all aged up to teens. Right, you guys. Here's little Yolanda in game doing her homework like a good girl. She's still very pretty sim. The chin thing when she aged up, obviously, was a problem, but, you know, that's fine. And look at little Jimena. They're both looking super, super happy to be here, as you can tell. Uh, maybe I'll have them be thankful to one another. There we go. Done. Be thankful. Haha, -ha, oh, they can. I didn't know they could do that while they were doing homework. Multitasking does sometimes work in this game, doesn't it? All right, what are you doing? Can you be thankful to the toddler? No. Perhaps you could go and be thankful. Why is she so angry? Still upset. Oh my god. Get over it. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. I'm just having Georgia work with the toddlers. Now she's in her third trimester. So the main thing we're waiting for at this point is to, like to see who she's pregnant with and meet those little kids. Objects. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I say kids plural. I'm hoping for multiples. But... I'm also not super optimistic because Zia, well, Zia was a singleton and if we have three then that's the hundred babies born I just have to keep them alive so of course the game hates me Jimena and Yolanda's father has come past just to hang out just randomly and she's hungry so I was thinking I might you know take advantage be like hey dad so you know I just was hoping you can make like a little, you know, donation to the cause. Beautiful. Thumbnail achieved. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is traumatizing the toddler. Oh, she seems fine. She's a bit sad from the whole potty situation. Look, you just got to imagination level three, sweetheart. So don't worry about that. Go grab yourself some food. And then you can go to bed. Poor little Angelo crashed and burned a little while ago. So he's in bed. She's in theory playing chess against someone else, but not. <gasps> We've gone into labor. And I also just bought an observatory and just put it out here. Actually, she's hungry too. It's fine. It's fine. Let's come up and have this baby or possibly babies, possibly three babies if I'm very lucky. It's unlikely. It's very unlikely. But let's see how we go. Fingers crossed. It sounds so painful. It's a boy! I was just thinking poor Angelo was on his own. Not only is he the only male, he's also the only kid with, like, not red hair. Of course, there's no saying that this kid won't have red hair. But still. Kitty Pop 28 suggested the name Chad. Yeah, we could do Chad. <laughs> Another boy! Oh my god, could it be triplets? Could it be triplets? Uh, thank you for providing me CD and E names. We're going to go with Drake. We haven't had a Chad or a Drake before. 
Okay, only two. Does mean we need one more pregnancy. Georgia and Dean had twins. Oh, actually, we couldn't have had. Could we have? No, we couldn't have had triplets. What the hell was I talking about? We didn't have room. We only had room for twins. I'm an idiot. This one's not crying, but I know it should be. And then we'll come back and give that one some attention. Awesome! So that puts us on 99, you guys. With little Chad and Drake. I actually don't mind the name Chad. It's just all of the kind of modern associations with that word. But, you know, it's the same as, I guess, there are modern associations with names like Karen. And I actually like the name Karen. And a very dear friend of mine is named Karen. So, you know, apologies to any Chads out there who heard my hesitation and were like, hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that meme culture has done this to you. Anyway, I'm actually going to end this part here. We will have her. You just got a really good text. Uh-huh. You just don't want to get bitten again. Uh, I will have her get pregnant in the next part. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I guess if you have any E names, our E baby will be our last baby. It's also possible we could have, if we move out... Jimena and Yolanda, we could actually have twins because we have the Leyline trait. We could end up with 101. That, you know, is the thing that could happen. I'm not super excited. She's like, I'm so hungry. I'm not like super excited at that idea. It seems wasteful. We already had Yusef, who didn't count. In fact, if Yusef hadn't been an alien, that would have been our last pregnancy. Xanthi letting us down once again. Anyway, it's fine. I'm going to wrap this up. I'd love your baby name suggestions. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.